fantasy of the youth, not because it is a long dream, no. We know that it will happen. That if it doesn't happen today, it will happen tomorrow. We know that as a people funding this violence, and as a people whose tax money is being used to shut all Palestinian limbs, as a people whose tax money is being used to punish Palestinian life, as our people are homeless on the streets, we know that we have a responsibility. That this is a time in history that we cannot sit back. This is the time in history that will testify against you. So do not for a second leave this gathering thinking this is it. Continue to show up. Even if the numbers aren't big, continue to show up. Even when it's windy, continue to show up. Even when your voices run out, continue to show up. Even when you're the only person in the classroom who has the decency and morality to speak up, continue to show up even when they place you on canary continue to show up even when they put you on the front pages of newspapers continue to show up even after they dox you continue to show up each and every single day for every single palestinian child mother father man women those throwing the rocks those holding up the phone to show us what's happening to them to each and every single Palestinian. So let us chant louder than we have ever before and let Mason know that her cop school could not destroy the revolution that exists within each and every single one of you. So free, free Palestine. Anybody with a simple headache or a toothache knows what it means every 
A slow second that passes when you suffer. And here you have people in Gaza that is beyond comprehension what is happening. And the world is silent. The world is silent. Why is the world silent? There are so many beautiful organizations that are usually outspoken. So many countries that claim they are doing for human rights. Why are they silent? Unfortunately, the name of my religion of Judaism has been dragged into the mud, is being used to silence people from out being outspoken. They claim that the ones who are opposing this occupation is anti-Semites. It's because they hate the Jews, so they dehumanize the people of Gaza. And then they are able to silence the world. This is a vicious, this is a vicious, reviling claim. This has nothing to do with truth. In fact, the rabbis who are living in Palestine and rabbis around the world immediately, vociferously, with the, with the top of their voices, screamed that this occupation is not Judaism. It's a selfish, flawed political movement that started years ago. This is not Judaism. Judaism says do not kill, do not steal. Judaism, we can attest, we have been living in every Muslim country and in the Ottoman Empire, which was in control of Palestine. For hundreds of years, with the with the very sharply different religion between Muslim, between Islam and Judaism, and it wasn't an impediment to peace. We lived together. We helped each other. We babysat each other's children. We have pictures to show that we have older Arabs, older Jews. Everybody will testify to their own base existence how they lived together and helped each other. What changed? How come the world is being duped? How come the world is going along <coughs> with this narrative of Zionism when the history is right in the front of us? Do you respect your elders? What about respecting your elders and asking them how was the existence between Jews and Muslims? Yeah! Everybody will tell you it was peaceful. We lived together. How dare <coughs> the Zionists come along and vilify Muslims around the world and then vilify the people of Palestine when this is a vicious ploy to gain control over the world, over the, the Holy Land. It's a vicious ploy to silence people who are bothered by inhumanity, who are people who are bothered by, by what atrocities that are occurring. That's all it is. It's a ploy. It's a vicious ploy of the Zionist state of Israel because they are anti-Semitism personified. Yeah. They dare not call anti-Zionism anti-Judaism when there's so many Jews around the world and the more the religious the Jew, the more anti-Zionist they are. How dare they? We cry and hurt with the people of Gaza. We cry and hurt with the people of Zion of Baja Barajna and all these camps that they're suffering for 75 years. We cannot be silent. We dare not be silent. And we challenge the world leaders to step back, step back, and take a look without being intimidated. And where the truth lies, is it Judaism or is it a simple base movement that wants to create their safe haven? This is not acceptable. It's not only, it's not a safe haven. They're the cause of bloodshed. The poor 1,200 people that died on October 7th. It's, we are not condoning violence, but the blood of those people on the hands of occupiers who caused their death and 75 years of tens of thousands of other Muslims and Jews and Christians.
in the eloquent speech you heard right before me. You must stand up. Do not sleep. Do not be silent. Call anybody you know who may have some influence on people who have power. Stand up. Talk out. And even if you don't have such people, don't be silent. Your voice is heard. Your voice will be heard. We, God is looking at us and wanting to see who is standing up for justice, who is standing up for compassion. Stand up, don't be silent, till we will realize a free Palestine, as it says in the Torah. As it says in the Torah, the Almighty says, why are you rebelling against me? It will not be successful. This state will end. It will end.